to everyone watching my channel. I guess you might wonder why there haven't been new uploads for over a month. The truth is right now I and many other people creating snooker content are facing copyright issues as World Snooker Tour no longer allows us to monetize our videos. As you can see, I received many claims from the World Snooker Tour. To avoid further claims, I had to hide most of my videos by turning them to the unlisted mode, meaning one can watch them only when having a link. And I created my Patreon page, where you can support me if you want to help me continue making videos. Don't worry, I'll keep on uploading new publicly available content for at least the next couple of months. And then, depending on how things are going, I'll decide on what to do next. If you subscribe to my Patreon, you'll be able to watch my new videos in the early access. Besides, you'll be able to watch my previously made videos. What is even more important is that by subscribing to my Patreon, you'll help me run my channel, and I'll do my best not to disappoint you. The link is in the description. Oh, I've seen it all. Neil, I've seen it all oh, now. That's a fluke <laughs> of the century. Oh, God. Oh, I don't even know where to start on this. <laughs> that I mean, is extraordinary, what's happened there. Extraordinary. I don't think I've seen many flukes like that. I mean, that was a mind-boggling fluke that I've just seen there. It's one for the ages, and of course he lands on a red as well. He's got the reds open, so chance to win the match. <laughs> well, that's pretty unusual. And if that red had rolled along the table and into a pocket, it would have counted. I mean, it shows how close he got, that the red actually popped out of the pocket and onto the rail. Very unusual to see that. I have seen them roll along the rail into the centre before, and that counts. Let's have a look at this again. Very, very unusual. shots here but they're working out 16 well Joe had a little glance up to the commentary box there I don't blame him I mean this is just amazing this one I mean, he's on nothing and all of a sudden he's on three reds yeah well we say sometimes a fluke can just get you one point this one could get him a frame winning opportunity Well, that was absolutely amazing. How he has managed to get the white into that gap, and he's smiling 22. all over the place. Have a look at this. How has the white gone in the gap and then gone right around the bunch of... Well, that is a trick shot, if ever you've seen one. He could try that for the next week and not do that again. I think we'll call this the jack-in-a-box shot. Hello? <laughs> oh, good shot. <laughs> Have a look at the gap that that cue has gone through there. It's gone right through the gap of the yellow and blue. Incredible stuff. <clears throat> no wonder they're both smiling because there's so many strange things have happened in this frame. <laughs> They've never seen anything like it. We've never seen anything like it. And as Ken said, look at it. How did he get between <laughs> those? Seven. 
Uh, it's a foul because he jumped over the, the red. Is I thought it was you had to jump an intervening ball. Well, I was about to say. He hit the red, then jumped over it, then potted it. But we need to just check the rule because it says a foul shot is if you jump an intervening ball. So it just because it never happens that it's so rarely that happens. No ambition in that shot other than to get seven points. Well, I've never seen anything like that. It stopped. It stopped. Our old it's friend Gravity. Yes. I mean, if it, if it had hung on a little bit longer, then it wouldn't have counted, would it? Surely not. That, that is unbelievable. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. was that and he was on the pink and a potential cut in on the black but how did this not go in how many wobbles was there there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten can you believe i've never seen that before you can see the red but can't see the angle to cut it in but he can't pot it not with the natural cueing so he's played that little... Well, I don't believe it. That's unbelievable. <laughs> no, we saw that. Didn't go, Dennis? <laughs> he, he turned round to Ryan and said, you know, with his hand, he said the white rolled off. He was just playing to hit this full ball, and somehow the white's gone around the other red. And look at him looking back and saying to Ryan, I can't believe that's curled around the red. Well, I think that hit the pocket and jumped yeah, out again, didn't it? 57. We've seen it before, haven't we? I don't know what, what the reason is. I mean, obviously it's bouncing, but it's gone straight in the pocket. Straight in the heart of the pocket. That shouldn't happen. Too thick. Oh, he's caught the knuckle. Oh, don't tell me. <laughs> a, a slightly sarcastic tap of the table there from Steve Davis. Lucky man. Mick Mapleson, a great supporter of the, used to be the charity, the Snooker Golf Society, and sponsored Mark Davis. Won't be here this year. He's in hospital, Mick, and he'll be watching. And he's pretty poorly, but keep your chin up and keep battling away, Mick. And we'll see you soon. Watch that, pick that up. He's hit it. He didn't hit it. I'll jump into Well, I have there. never seen that before. He did hit the extension. Foul. <coughs> Stephen Hendrick for. Did he forget it was there? I completely <laughs> forgot it, Dennis. It's Hold me. <laughs> <laughs> Just clipped the end of his cue extension, obviously a foul, and he's got to go back into bat. I've never seen that before in my life. Wow. That's unbelievable. If this red is not portable, he could play that shot another 500 times and not land there. He just thought it was a matter of just cannon into those reds. That's incredible how that's landed there. Wow. Oh. Well, that is one of the 
best. Steve Maguire for trick shots I've ever seen. They both smile at each other. I can't believe what's happened there. He missed the pot by a mile, but you'll not see a better trick shot. Have a look at this. You could set that up for a hundred years, and that could never happen. And a re rack after 50 minutes or something like that. Don't like it when players do that, I'll be honest. Not meant to do that. Oh, so we four. No. When Doc put his hand there, the cue ball was still on the bed of the table. I've seen Foul. referees. Graham Dot four. Well, there you are. And uh, the I feel a little sorry. Table, did it? I feel very sorry for Mark there. He didn't. And that's unfair on Mark, I believe. Yeah, what's but happened it never there? Left the table. Sorry. I think. No, the ball never left the bed of the table. Yeah, well, that's that's a that's a controversial one, and I think that Graham is at fault. Yes, your visit to the he, table, Graham. He is, but the referee Alan Chamberlain is technically right. <laughs> He's right, but I think he should have told Mark what he, what happened. I think he should have told Mark the situation. Mark was misled slightly there, I think. Do you not agree, Clive? He was. How was he to know? Well, he, he was misled. <laughs> Your yes. shot was when you lifted the ball from from where it should have been played. But I can't play yep. what from where he's done. Yes. See the, see the marks filled? When you've seen marks filled, I mean, you've lifted the weight up. Because the because the ball has left the bed of the table when he lifted it. Right. Well, I, mm, I'm not comfortable with this as someone that's completely neutral in this match. The referee, technically correct, but a case for him to exercise his discretion. And that's how I see it completely, Clive. But where's it going to land? Oh, well, he hasn't missed it yet. <laughs> and he's got it safe, would you believe? That's amazing. That's it's, amazing. Isn't it just? <laughs> you can't quite believe it. Uh, there's all sorts of things happen there. I mean, he's brought the black and pink into play as well. The white's cannon into the black and pink, and when the camera comes back, you'll just be able to see that the black, black and pink's available now. Oh, he wasn't sure if that would drop or not. Still he still wants six. it to, actually, but it's hung on. Yeah, the reason he's missed this red, he just didn't get into the cue ball enough, and the spin just wore off as it struck the cue ball, as, as the red, I beg your pardon. And that's normally caused by slight deceleration in the cue action. Well, that's interesting. The red's dropped in, but because time has elapsed, it gets put back where it was. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see if it it's one of those things you don't often see, but the red dropped in. They're close to the side, was it? I've never seen that happen yeah. before, Dave. Yes, if the referee deems it that you've left the table, you've left the field of play, yeah, so to speak, yeah. and you've sat in your chair, it then becomes your opponent's shot. There you go. No, no, you're kidding me. You'd have a secret, Dennis. Don't look at what you're doing. Uh, is this the winner of the World Championship uh, we're looking at here? I've seen it, but I Thank don't you. believe it. <laughs> well, One. that has got to be the flukiest positional shot for many a moon. I can't believe what I've seen there. It was unbelievable. Not only to be on the black, because it never went in the first place, but with a red over the pocket as well. Well, this is unbelievable how he's ended up on the black with the red next to it. Thus blocking what would otherwise have been a simple red for Davis. Ah, oh, oh, well, you may have heard Davis there. Ah, oh, clever. I think he intended... Oh, crikey. <laughs> he intended to hit that from the back leaving uh, the red on the black cushion, but what an outcome. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. From 11, Barry Hawkins to break. <laughs> just laughing and I think with Barry uh, Ken it's okay, just the embarrassment down, please, isn't you. it of playing so well and everybody the expectation settle down please thank all you all of a sudden now he's just almost feeling embarrassed about the scoreline
This cue ball's gone close to the corner pocket. Oh, you're joking me. You're kidding me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Joe, Joe Perry is not amused. <laughs> Settle down, please. Thank you. Because this is as close <laughs> to an impossible snooker to get out of as you will ever see. I think he needs to play it with power. Oh, great effort. Great effort. Foul. Go on, there call go. a miss. Brenda Moore, I dare you. <laughs> I dare you. Well, it's not over yet. Oh, has he potted it? Look at this shot. Can you believe it? 23. Can you believe that? That's as good a trick shot as you'll ever see. Have a look at this. Unbelievable. Incredible, that. Hello. What about that? <laughs> That's unbelievable. Complete fluke, of course. You just get the feeling this match is just going to run and run. That was some middle pocket bump there he got. Well, there's your answer. Surely not. Three. Surely not. I think from his reaction, he is angled. <laughs> yeah, the bang on the cue says, I'm snookered. <laughs> Surely not returning <laughs> the compliment. I think he has, and if that goes in off, he just give the game away, but has he got the snooker? Well, I've never seen that before. Back-to-back -back shots where someone is angled and then <laughs> his opponent is angled. Yeah, the now, the worst in. thing for him was that black going over the pocket. Oh, well, how's that going in? <laughs> <laughs> the black was in the way and then it wasn't. Mark Williams thinks it's his shot. Does he? What? How did this go in? Well, that's incredible. It's like a magic act. <laughs> it hasn't come quite far enough. Well, he thought he had come far enough to play into the Reds. Neil Robertson, 70. I think that blue hit the middle of the pocket, but the pace he hit it, it was probably bouncing by the time it got there, and it's hit the back of the lever and popped back out. That's exactly what happened. When you're playing with that amount of pace, on these super fine cloths particularly, he probably just strike, struck down slightly on the cue ball. That was bouncing, hit the cue, caused that to bounce. And when it hit the middle of the pocket, it wasn't on the bed of the table. Quinjian是第一个球杆之后的杆法的打点，每一次都要一样，否则的话每一次出来都不一样。好球，好球，还不漏。哎，反掉了，反掉了。哦，漂亮！这是有运气，运气啊，运气啊！我是说下来的这个